guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. You guys can probably hear that I'm streaming here in the background and everything's blowing in my face. Let me just show you guys real quick what I'm, what I'm doing. Look at that, Juliana. So I am streaming one of our sellers to our other YouTube channel. If you are wondering, but hello, welcome to my, this other channel. <laughs> my name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And I am a part-time reseller, stretching it into full-time marketplace owner over on District. We have three marketplaces over there and that's what's going on right here in my lap. I'm just taking you guys along to see what my Saturdays <laughs> look like. I posted my live sale this morning. I did my shipping. I'm at the post office. Just dropped off a bunch of packages in my blue bag right there. Now, since I realized I don't have enough jewelry for the sale, we're doing a collections chat today. Um, I'm gonna head over to the antique store that's near my house, pick up some pieces to sell uh, during the collections chat, and I am gonna be showing you guys some Austrian jewelry, my Austrian jewelry collection, teach you guys a little bit about it, and then I'm going to sell some pieces if you wanna buy. Um, not from my collection though, <laughs> but maybe I can find something to sell um, to you guys there. So I'll see you guys later. And yeah, I'm just taking you guys along with me today. Let's go to the antique store. Hi there, can I have a Grande Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew? For sure, anything else today? Nope, that's it, thank you. So you guys, I realized that I can get Starbucks coffee without my children, so I am taking full advantage. Let's get some. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've gotten um, Starbucks in like a year, honestly. <laughs> Yay! All right, so I'm here at the antique store, and if you guys are wondering, I literally take my iPhone along with me so that I can stream you guys to YouTube you can see um, that right now Patrice is raiding into Maria. See that? And then we can choose to join. And then it automatically goes to the next show. And then everyone goes and raids. That's what a raid is called where everyone just heads on over to the next show. So that's what we do during the weekends. So it's like a little community hangout. And I packed up things that I am going to be putting into my antique booth as well, just so I can kill two birds with one stone. And so I'm just going to go ahead and stream her to our Facebook page and then to our YouTube right there. And she's gonna show us her collection. So there we go. There is Maria. So let me go bring my stuff in and let's bring Maria with us. Oh, and another thing, um, Wendy, who's all things lovely, she just did, she just had a buy it now sale. She sold a Swarovski B and I got like a little notification right before I turned the camera on. So yay for that too. Here, let me show you. Isn't that cute? So, they have these bookmarks here. They're a dollar each. And they say, hold my spot. And I think that they're so cute. Hmm. Maybe I'll grab some for giveaways. One, two. Let's see. Read, sleep, repeat. And then 
We have the blue one and the flowers. This one says dream of stardust. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me, so I won't get, get that. I dream of other things. <laughs> like, um, I dreamt that I had like a art store attached to my house and that we had a basketball court in my house <laughs> for Gideon. All right, here we're gonna grab these. I still have, ooh, bids are happening. Woohoo! <laughs> hold on, cancel. That's from me hitting it. So it looks like some bids for the brooch. Woohoo! Yay, okay. All right, so we got that. I do see some necklaces here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at that one. It's missing a strand though. So this one was $6. It has that Art Deco rhinestone encrusted clasp, but it is missing. This one might be a winner. We have some swirled art glass with the filigree caps. It is decorated box clasp here. Let's see if it's like Japan, Hong Kong. It doesn't say. Let's see. If it's a good price, $10. Eh, I mean, that's a good price if you want to be a collector, but maybe not for a live sale. If it was like five, then maybe, but really pretty. All right, let's see if there's any more. We have belt, clothes, wall art. Um, one of these swans, art glass swan. Ornaments, look at all the littles. Love that, so cute. All right, any over here? There's more clothes. Okay, I think that was all the jewelry that was, wait, what's down here? We have little things. Not vintage, not, we have some Disney charms. Right, so they're kind of doing what I do, where it's like a basket dig. So it looks like there's more modern stuff in here. Well, let's do a little basket dig. Since we're on the third floor, nobody's here. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, crafting circle. What is this? What in the world? Stop. Craft wrap. What in the world? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, that one's not marked. All right. Broke, no, snake earrings. Two dollars. Do you guys see anything? Holler. But I'm usually pretty good at picking out <laughs> some some good vintage pieces. Look at this. This kind of looks like a um, raku almost. Uh, poetic spirit metallic arrowhead. It was $9.99. Probably at Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby does price their things down. Alright, so am I getting really... Oh, these are cute. These say, what do they say? I can't tell the price. <laughs> Wait, one dollar, there it is right there, one dollar. All right, I think we have our first thing, hooray. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, so I did find a couple things. This right here is a an enamel bird, like a cloisonne enamel bird charm a dollar it's actually more like a pendant and it's a Sarah Coventry cute so two things going for it signed and that um, cloisonne and then we have this guy which is going to be the best deal today it's a dollar and he is a R tennis mid Sweden I've sold a mouse by him and maybe a different pendant so the, um, this I think is maybe a pewter Swedish um, mid-century piece brooch which is awesome so I'm pretty excited about that one 
Let's go to Donna's booth. We always seem to find really good stuff here. We'll see if she put anything else in here. Yes, there's like little books. The Kinderkins. <laughs> the Early Farmers. Mother. What in the world? That looks really old. The Kinderkins by Frances Margaret Fox. All right, it's a story. Oh, it's so cute. All right, need to focus on the task at hand. And it's going to be jewelry. So that's nice. Missing, missing a thing, maybe like a check. Um, it's a dress clip. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig through some of these for some some pieces for the sale. Whoa, look at that. <gasps> What? It looks like they took a brooch and then put modern beads with it because that is incredible. That is insane. $16. I'm going to look at this. Okay, so yep, that's what they did. They, they, this thing broke, the pin back. This might be like an unsigned Shriner or Juliana piece. I'm going to get it and fix it and it's definitely worth at least $50 um, once it's fixed. So we're going to take those beads off and we have the Sabrina glass and just, it looks like fruit salad yumminess, doesn't it? Yes. No way. Six dollars. Look at what I see. That says Joel Maz. Big costume ring. Absolutely. Alright you guys, I got some crazy things here. I'll have to show you guys in the hall. Joel Maz, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is all connected and it looks like a, what does it say, 1940s? I'm going to have to research that more, but it looks like it's made with some carved mother of pearl and then these dangle flowers and things like that. One of these pieces says it's verified Juliana by, let me think, Celebrity New York or something like that. This one does say signed something, cannot read it, but we're going to get that one. Um, there's some like Swarovski in here that I found and just some pretty fantastic things that I'm looking forward to researching some more. So yay, let's go, let's go downstairs um, a level. Just let me see what time it is. Oh yay, low battery. Hold on. What time is it? 4.40. Alright, 20 minutes. Okay, we have a whole jewelry wall here of necklaces most of these look modern this one looks like it's made to look like carved ivory but it's not oh here's some vintage pieces let's see we have a brooch it's a feather unmarked oh we have a decorated box clasp we love these let's see does it say anything it's just acrylic beads, so not anything too crazy, but it's only four dollars. Hmm, I think we'll we'll grab that one. Miriam Haskell does the encrusted box clasps like that. That one's not a Miriam Haskell, but people really do like those. Let me know if you guys want to get through here. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thanks. This one says, this one says Hong Kong. It's just some big bobble acrylic. Um, this is like a little dig. We have some sugared beads here. But these are actually glass, so maybe they're not. Hmm. Let's see. This one is six and unmarked, but these are like faceted watermelon. Alright, I'm going to do that one, but really cool. This one also feels glass. This one is also unmarked 7. They're really pretty though. Alright, oh, this one does look like it's ivory. Right here. You can see. But this one's probably 
This one might have the cross hatching on the back. Um, or it actually might be... No, I think because it's an elephant, I think it's ivory. A lot of ivory has elephant themes because elephant ivory comes from elephants. Okay, we have hair clips. This is pretty. Look at this. I think it's maybe broken right here, but that's really pretty. All right, one more place I want to look before we head out. Okay, so I didn't have I didn't have time. They were scooching me out 15 minutes too, but I did pay 131.45 for everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, such a steal! And I'll show you guys inside. But Kathy just came on. Kathy's insane bargains. And right as that happened, my iPhone died. So we need to get in there. I need to plug it in so I can stream her. She's literally sharing some of the brooches I sold to her. <laughs> so we are at home. Let's open the garage. Let's go on in. Oh, is it gonna open? Open. Why is it not opening? Is it too hot outside? Oh, wait, <laughs> I just closed it, you guys. I'm a whole hot mess. You guys think I have it all together. I do not. All right, let's go, let's go um, see what I got. Okay, so we got Kathy all taken care of here. So she's gonna be on in the background, and then this is going to be the setup here for the live show. I have some pieces for our antiques and collectibles along with the jewelry that I already had gotten at the thrift store. But let's see, I'm gonna pick some pieces that we can bring up tonight and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so let me take off my keys. Let's get ourselves situated here. Good old fashioned jewelry haul. Are you guys ready? If you are new to reselling jewelry, pay attention. These are some things you're gonna to wanna to look out for because you can find things at the antique store, thrift store, estate sales that you can easily resell for profit as a buy it now on our district or eBay or something like that. Or even starting a piece like this at $5, you will make some good profit because this one has the Swarovski swan right there. See her, see the swan? And this shape itself looked really familiar because I have a pair of earrings that have baguettes that look like that. So I'm not even sure what the front <laughs> looks like. I was just like, oh, the, Sw the Swarovski Swan for $3? Yes, please. So let's see what this pendant looks like here. There we go. There's the baguettes. Mine has multicolored baguettes, but you can see the rainbows and the crystal there. Let's see if this fold-over clasp says anything. It does not, so good thing that the swan says something. I'm wondering if these two went together or someone just married these two together. Um, like they put the pendant on a vintage chain that's unmarked. But this is a nice heavy chain, so I got that one for $3. And if I started at five, I know it would probably be bid up to like 10 at least during a live sale. And then I could probably get like 30 for it on a buy it now. Of course, live sales are always um, a bit different. So <laughs> that's okay, because you're selling a lot of things at once. So if you are a shopper or have a big collection, it might work out for you. This here looks to be says sterling necklace with gold leaf. This looks like the Black Hills gold and this might be an onyx piece right there. So let's pull it out here. It's paid 14, but even if it's not marked, let's see if it says anything on the bottom. So it's not focusing. Sometimes you have to block out <laughs> the stuff that the camera wants to focus on. All right, camera, what do you want to focus on here? All right, so down here it does say something. I'm just going to have to tell you guys what it says. It says Sterling, it says 925 Sterling. So I'm going to have to Google Lens this to see if it tells me anything else. And this might be an Onyx pendant. So that one I got for 14. There we go. We have this here. This very much looks like a Brighton, and it is a Brighton. Brighton has a lot of scrolling. There's a lot of people who like to wear Brighton quite often. Let me grab this out for us. So this says, 
embrace the journey and Brighton is usually sterling plated and then they have like this weird coating. So once the coating starts rubbing off, the sterling starts oxidizing and it gets a little wonky. I honestly would prefer that it either be all tarnished or not tarnished at all. But yeah, that's the unfortunate thing with Brighton. Here is the Brighton logo here. Focus, focus. Oh wow, my camera just did something. <laughs> Track the person. All right, I don't know if you guys can even see that. My camera just did something really weird. Can't zoom out in this mode. All right, let's see if I can mess with that. That was really weird. First time ever doing that. Next, let's look at this little piece. I collect grape brooches, so I was really drawn to this little guy here. It's on a vintage snail chain. Ooh, stop. Oh, I thought it was a crown trifari. It's not. <laughs> but it is a vintage Avon. And it, this one did not say that it was an Avon. It does have the spring ring clasp there, so that is a vintage piece. And really lovely. It has the faux pearl and the rhinestone. I love that one. I got this one for six. This one has, it says um, vintage 60s blue star sapphire. I don't think so. I think this is more of a moon glow look. Um, star sapphire actually looks like a star in the blue. And with a costume jewelry like this, it wouldn't be a real star sapphire. But the white is a milk glass, a white milk glass, which is really popular for vintage jewelry collectors and blue rhinestones right now for our our live um, sale buyers. So this might be a piece that I bring today or tomorrow to the live sale. Maybe start it at 10, see where it goes. Oh, is it a star sapphire? No, I don't think so. No, it's not making a star shape. So, but really, really pretty. No mark on the hook, but I still love it. Oh, look at these buttons, you guys. I'm not gonna take them out, but they are $3 and they're the Victorian steel. Sometimes we see buckles or things like that made from the Victorian steel. We have these uh, three flower buttons and I'm so excited about that. So I, I'm gonna bring this one tomorrow to uh, our Sunday Antiques and Collectibles train because I, I sell both jewelry and our antiques and collectibles, so that will be something I bring along with like our frog and some other fun things. All right, this I don't have to take out. It's the Sterling and Onyx pierced earrings. Ah, maybe I will take them out because it could say something on the back like Mexico or something like that. So let's pop these off. It says, C I D C I D <laughs> C I D 925. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but you're gonna have to take my word for it. So I could potentially look that up, see if it's a Mexico maker, see if it's a Native American maker, but this is high quality. This looks like handmade earrings for five dollars. That's a ridiculous price. That is awesome. All right, we have a Victorian look black brooch a dollar fifty here can't go wrong you cannot go wrong all right so actually it might actually be vintage here there's no marks on the back but it does have this cabochon right here that looks like hematite and then these faux um, diamonds or marcasite looking sparkles this would be considered a bar brooch here where it's really long Sometimes in the 80s, people would wear these right under their collar. So for a dollar fifty, I can't go wrong starting that at five. This one also is a mystery for a dollar fifty, and I also can't go wrong <laughs> with a bling brooch at a dollar fifty. So look at that bling! It's a flower, and this one. Oh, it's a Sarah Cove. Nice. I'm wondering if we could make this into a pendant as well maybe so there we go isn't that lovely okay a dollar fifty nice score all right i'm gonna unwrap this one here and 
let me pull it out for us. This right here are, this is like, it feels like really nice copper with these red rhinestones. And what's nice about this one, it's a modern piece, not vintage, but on the fold over clasp, it does say rustic cuff. And that's like a little bit higher of an end brand for jewelry. Um, it does pretty well on like eBay and stuff. And this is a really pretty tennis bracelet. So there's that one. Look at these, you guys. These are sharks. <laughs> Shark clip-ons. We cannot even handle the cuteness going on here. <laughs> Look at this carved um, mother of pearl. Shark clippies. They are ridiculous. I'm going to bring those to auction. How much did I pay? $3? Yeah, those are so cute. All right. Here we have... 14 karat gold filled. Let's see what it says. $5? Okay. <laughs> and it has a little tiny cartouche right there. This says Wells. Wells gold filled. Uh, Wells is very well known <laughs> for their gold filled brooches and vintage jewelry. I might have to test these to see if they're anything, but they're most likely just blue rhinestones. Maybe I won't test them. Maybe I'll start this at eight for the um, auction and see what where it goes this is lovely all right so five dollars victorian glass necklace i actually this is what i'm going to have to do some research on because there's some older glasses that i'm just unsure of like camphor glass or opaline or things like that so let's see I cannot tell what is carved in there. No idea. So really interesting um, old, old clasp here. So I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more. I have no idea. I'm gonna put that one off to the side. We have, let me make sure I have the time here. Hold on, 522. All right, so <laughs> my show is at 6, and it's 522 right now, and I still have to add some things into my store, but I am not worried because you guys know me. I put things together last minute. <laughs> so here is this enameled cocktail ring, about a size 8 for this big bulbous ring. At first I thought, oh, is that a Joan Rivers? So I looked in there, and I saw the J and the O, and then I looked closer, and it actually says um I might be able to see it better as I move away do you guys see where it says Joe Maz that's Joseph Mazer that is a big bolo you guys big bolo be big be on the lookout for uh vintage jewelry there is a little bit wear, bit of wear but that I mean this is just a very collectible brand here so that was pretty exciting uh we have Let's see. This one was five. Oh, 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 oh. I remember what this one was. Hold on. This is, feels like glass. And wait a second. I'm confused now. <laughs> wait a second. How did this? I'm confused now. What? Does it just hook randomly? This is a West Germany necklace, but now I'm confused. <laughs> because here's the hook and there's no other hook it is marked West Germany on the hook I am really confused now does it just go like that no I'm I'm so confused all right so that one <laughs> I'm just like I'm so confused and that one surprised me um okay let's keep let's keep on looking at more pieces. This one was five and this one is a four leaf clover which people could collect for like um, luck or lucky charm or something like that. This one looks like an older brooch here and it just has some rhinestones. Red, green, clear. Then we have this piece here. Now this is the one that popped up online as a verified Juliana by Celebrity New York. And 
we know that Juliana is a very much be on the lookout for brand. <laughs> Absolutely. But also, Juliana pieces are not marked, only unless they have the, the paper hang tag. Um, but I do know that Juliana, the Delizer, no, the, um, <laughs> why my brain's not working? Um, the Juliana company did partner with different brands like Avon, Sarah Coventry, and things like that to create pieces. So I had seen online that they partnered with Celebrity New York. And this one actually does say Celebrity New York right there. So this might be a verified Juliana piece. In order to verify Juliana, you want to go to isitjulianajewelry.com and check out the verified pieces there. All right. We pull out a few more pieces for us. Looks like Kathy has 56 people in her chat, which is awesome. Um, I'm trying to work out a way that I can I can um, stream you guys without having to always <laughs> be there because sometimes it can be a little tricky to do both, especially as it's growing and everybody, um, more, more and more people are starting to go live. So, all right, so I might not just, I might not take this one out. So I'm looking to see if there's any marks. I don't see anything here, but I love how they are connected with this chain. Isn't that fantastic? <gasps> it says 1940s. Oh, look at this moon. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I tried ripping it off. I failed. Isn't this fantastic? I kind of want to bring this. All right. So there's that one. And then the last piece I'm going to show you is a Richelieu, um, a Richelieu earring pair here. And most of you who do resell jewelry, collect jewelry, do know of the brand Richelieu. And usually they do a lot of faux pearls. These are actually like a green lucite uh, ball dangle earring, clip on earring set. And I'm wondering if these might glow. So let me see, where did I put my, here we go, black light. We're gonna see if they are glowers. Just because I'm always looking to see if vintage green glows. So it does not look like it does. Oh well, this, these are still cute mod um, Richelieu dangle earrings. I think I paid three for them. So at the very least, I could probably put them up on eBay for $15, um, but I might bring them to auction. So let me <laughs> pick out what pieces I want to bring in. I'll add some more onto the live sale before we go live. And then over here, in this big mess over here, <laughs> I have some of my Austrian jewelry. So let me move this out of the way. Oh, and I have this one. You can see Gideon calls my workspace, the darkness, because <laughs> I don't have the lights on. So he comes and snuggles by me and he just looks and he says, that's the darkness. <laughs> so I'm going to be, be bringing some different varieties of Austrian jewelry pretty soon. And we're going to be talking about um, the pieces. I think all of these are marked made in Austria. So this will be really fun to share with you guys. All right. I will uh, see you guys after the show quick because I'm recording you guys on the other phone. So I'm doing my live auction now. I told everyone to <laughs> say hello. <laughs> and this is going to this is going to pop up. So yeah, so this is basically what I do here. I'm going to look on here for any pre-bids. Oh, the owl has some pre-bids and this one has some pre-bids. So I'm going to oh, not that one. I'm going to bring the owl to stage. I just talked to everybody about the um Austrian jewelry and here he is. He is a Swedish R tennis med and I believe this is a pewter mid-century modern um, brooch and so all I do is I would start the auction and you can see two bids. There's already pre-bids in there and yeah. Okay I just raided into, you can see all the people coming in, um, raided into Curry. She is Cherished Relics Boutique on YouTube. And she's going to show us 
some of her collection. I'm going to move out of here and make sure I stream her. There she is. So I'm going to go to that page and YouTube. So that will alert more people to come watch the show. So yay. And I will uh, check my stats on, you know, what all sold, how much sold. Everything sold except for these two pieces here. Or did I even run this? I'm not even sure. Um, so yeah, it was a really good sale. And I'm going to see what all sold. Okay. I just looked and it said right now I sold $222 during my live sale. Looked at my insights to see how that all went. So for an hour, actually less than an hour because I think I taught for like 20 minutes. So for that amount of time, I definitely made my money back. And then I have another, I don't know, I have the Joel Maz piece. I have the Sterling Silver pieces. I have a bunch of pieces. Oh, the Juliana piece. Um, so I have a bunch of pieces still left over for um, either bringing tomorrow to the live sale or to put as a buy it now on eBay and then cross posting it to our district. So if you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down in the comment section below. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of thrift with me, antique store haul videos, a lot of jewelry learning and um, booth talk and things like that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Join our community over um, on our marketplaces. You'll see the links all down below. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world to me. And don't forget to become a member in all three of our Lilyworks marketplaces. We have our Lilyworks jewels and lots. We have our antiques and collectibles marketplace. And then lastly, we have our newest makers market. So if you are a maker, a crafter, or an appreciator of art, go ahead and pop on over there. We have live sales running every single night so go ahead make sure you are supporting the Lilyworks members and community and a huge shout out to all the subscribers thank you guys so much and if you're wondering how to become a subscriber we have a five dollar ruby level and a fifteen dollar emerald level and it will help you with your reselling and supporting Lilyworks journey and lastly at lilyworksreseller.com you can find your upcycling supplies jewelry and also reseller merch that would be fun as gift ideas or for yourself thanks so much and don't forget to subscribe bye guys